People and their pets have a close bond of friendship, but love alone is not enough. Worms can spoil this wonderful relationship. Worms can occur in dogs and cats of any age. The situation is worst in puppies, who are usually heavily infested with worms. They suffer from vomiting and diarrhea and develop a pot belly. The fur is dull and lifeless. Some animals cough because the worm larvae can migrate through various organs, for example the lungs. A massive worm infestation can be fatal. Two types of worms are found in dogs and cats, tapeworms and roundworms. Tapeworms consist of a chain of individual segments which resemble grains of rice called proglottids. They live in the intestine and can reach two meters in length. The segments are excreted in the feces and can sometimes be seen around the anus. Tapeworms are transmitted by fleas. When dogs or cats chew a flea, they can become infected with tapeworms. Mice also transmit worms. Pets that hunt mice are therefore particularly at risk of picking up worms. The second major group of worms with which dogs and cats can be infected are the roundworms. These include the large roundworms, which look like spaghetti and reach about 10 centimeters in length. Although they can occur in bundles in the intestine, they're rarely eliminated with the feces. Hookworms are small roundworms. Their larvae can bore through the skin. Dogs and cats get infected with worm eggs almost anywhere. They can pick up eggs excreted with the feces as they rummage around. Even cats living permanently indoors are not safe because worm eggs can be carried into the house at any time. Puppies can get infected with worm larvae while still in the womb. After birth, worm larvae are transmitted to puppies and kittens in their mother's milk. Soon after birth, adult egg-laying worms develop inside the puppy or kitten. The bitch or queen can then reinfect herself with worms while grooming her young. Here's an overview of the different ways in which infections can be transmitted. Fleas transmit the most common tapeworm of dogs and cats. Mice transmit roundworms and tapeworms. Roundworm eggs can be picked up by pets as they rummage around. Puppies get infected with worms in the womb. Puppies and kittens get infected via their mother's milk. Humans can also pick up worms from dogs and cats. When pets lick their owner's face and hands or lick food, worm eggs can accidentally be swallowed. A high risk of infection exists in playgrounds contaminated with dog or cat feces. Worm eggs, which are invisible to the naked eye, can accidentally be swallowed by children. Worm larvae can penetrate bare skin. This can cause inflammations of the skin and damage to internal organs. In order to prevent the danger of worm infestation in humans and animals, scientists have developed highly effective medicines, which are completely safe even when taken frequently. Veterinarians recommend regular deworming so that dogs and cats can lead a happy, worm-free life. Puppies and kittens should be dewormed together with their mothers once a fortnight from 2 to 12 weeks of age. As worm cures, unlike vaccinations for example, have no preventive effect, adult pets should be dewormed regularly every three months with a medication that's effective against both roundworms and tapeworms. If pets have fleas and receive flea treatment, this should always be accompanied by a tapeworm treatment, for example with Droncet. For cats, there's Dronzit Spot On, the liquid wormer that's applied with the pipette just by squeezing on the skin and is stress-free for owners and pets. In areas where the fox tapeworm occurs, hunting dogs, sheep dogs and dogs preying on mice should be dewormed regularly every four weeks, for example with Dronzit. Remember, worms are bad for pets and getting rid of these unwelcome parasites couldn't be easier.